Now, soft tissue. Oh, my goodness. Whoever thought soft tissue would be found in something that's 220 million years old or something like that? Well, they're not that old, for one thing. But this is what has been found, and it's a lot of it that's been found. And so here's some pictures of it. And just on a, a quick note, uh, when we were adopting science standards in Texas in 2009, Soft tissue had just been found a short while before that, 93, I believe, the first article I read on it. But uh, they were just moving slowly at first. And uh, so I decided to uh, go to Austin. And uh, we, were, we were adopting science standards for that year. And so I signed up as one of the speakers. And I was speaker number one, two, three, or something like that. And uh, they let you have three minutes. And so I took a poster before I went, and I, this is the poster I took right there. And uh, so I slid it in the back where it wasn't just poster board, it was that foam board. And so I could close it like a book. And I didn't want anybody to see what my, my card was going to play here. And so when it came my turn to speak, I went up there and I talked to them. I said, uh, it's here to represent my grandchildren, the students of Texas, and so on. And, and I said, what's wrong with telling kids the truth? We've not been telling them the truth. Been telling them that, you know, this is impossible and all that kind of stuff. And and I said, I suggested to them that they change the wording of the state standard that had served Texas for so well. And that standard included the phrase, a teacher is to tell the strengths and the weaknesses of any theory. Sounds fair to me. And But that became a battle cry for, oh, you're on that side, you know, and all of that. So I knew that going in. And so I said... How about this? We don't say strengths and weaknesses. We say that a teacher is to evaluate the strength of the argument uh, on the adequacy or inadequacy to have a Darwinian explanation. And to my surprise, they bought it. They took that. And uh, I've, I've still got the clipping where it, it showed uh, the evolutionist that was the main arguer, was the lady from upstate New York or something and then me and they misspelled my name which was very good because my friends knew it was me and my enemies couldn't find me on the on the internet <laughs> but anyway that's what the standard says now <laughs>